So there are generally two phases of an eclipse, a partial eclipse and a total eclipse. And what a lot of people are interested in seeing and uh, getting in position to see is the total eclipse. The moon is sort of covering enough of the sun that you only see the rim or periphery of the sun. It's unsafe to look at the sun with your naked eye. Standard sunglasses won't work. Any smartphone like an iPhone won't work. You would have to get standard eye protection, and that has a, a number, an industry standard uh, attached to it, and that's ISO 123122. During the partial eclipse, you want to be looking down, put these on, and then look at the sun. During the less than three minutes of a total eclipse when the whole area will get dark, that is only the period of time that it's safe to take these off. The moment you see a crescent of light coming back over the sun, then you have to put them back on. In areas like Michigan where we will not get a total eclipse, we have to wear these the whole time. The reason we're concerned about this is because the rays of the sun, when one looks directly or with any of those things, can cause uh, damage to the retina, the light sensing portion at the back of your eye. Sometimes the vision does not go back to normal and can be permanent, and there can be permanent signs that there have been damage. And having uh, decreased vision in the central part of your vision that doesn't improve can be a lifelong problem. What we really want to emphasize is that you take the proper precautions with wearing the right sunglasses with the right filter so you can enjoy this once in a lifetime opportunity safely and enjoyably.